same mistake. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy KT Uno. And, Sai and we back with another one, man. Today we're checking out the top 10 most insane band water slides that you can't even go on no more. Yeah. Ah, man, I'm interested because yeah. I like water slides. I love water yeah, parks. Me so too. I want to see how extreme they got, how band wild these are. You can't ride. Hey there, YouTube. Tell me, what could possibly go wrong on a water slide? They're way slower and more enclosed than roller coasters. Well, usually. Things could happen, like getting stuck, you know, in the dark, and even being slammed into someone three times your size. Oh. I've, uh, I've experienced that before. Oh, and how could I forget falling off the edge? But hey, there's still a great time. Just ignore the broken bones, the possible monsters living in the tubes, and also the fat guy you collided with. That's why today we're gonna tell you 10 water slides that you don't have to worry about riding anymore. Oh Here's God. 10 bent water slides you can't what? ride. <laughs> you seen that pretty awesome almost like that. hit. Let's begin, shall we? That Number was 10, Steamer Easy. Slide. Barring how dirty this name can be construed, Calypso Water Park in Ottawa, Canada was slammed with 20 charges in 2015 oh. due to safety issues. Nine were withdrawn during the trial, leaving 11 charges remaining. Oh. The Calypso Water Park was found guilty of six of these charges. These charges mainly concerned a particularly dangerous slide called the Steamer Slide. Now here's how this slide goes. Oh. Riders on the steamer plummet down the sled on tubes, and those tubes slipped fairly frequently, leaving several people injured. One person broke her vertebra in two places on the ride. Another broke their collarbone. When these injuries happened, the water park failed to report the incidents or shut down the slide. Oh, oh boy, what's this? You got a broken collarbone? I can't feel my face! Hey, I walk it off, kid. He's a lollipop. Oh, hey, what about that? you? Oh, that's I crazy. I broke both of my oh. legs! Hey, I walk it off. Number 9. Aquasphere. Hmm. Now this one sounds less dirty and more like a Pokemon move. The Aquasphere is part of the Peninsula Aquatic Recreation Center. This slide, which features long, winding baths, has been plagued with all kinds of problems since its conception. These problems usually result in people suffering some pretty intense injuries. One boy was seen thrown out the side of the bottom uh -huh. completely limp after falling off the raft and being bounced around inside the slide. The impact left him <laughs> unconscious. After this incident, the slide was closed he for investigations into what caused the problem. However, this is hardly the first time the slide has been shut down after an injury. In its past, the slide has severely injured two young boys in one incident, and had its pipe burst in another, as well as injured two adults who hit their heads on the ceiling of the slide. Oh, Even when the ride was first tested by the staff and their families for a private event after first being built, it still managed to injure several people. <laughs> Number 8. Shoot the Rapids. What? Shoot the Rapids is a water slide in Cedar Point. Riders get to go down a massive slide while on a raft, with up to 10 that people fitting on one raft. The ride was the site of one of the worst injuries and incidents in water slide history. One of the rafts was being pulled to the top of the hill when the ride malfunctioned. The raft was sent hurtling back down the hill before flipping upside down. That meant that 10 people, count them, 10, were stuck in their seats, trapped in the water with no way out. One woman had suffered severe head injuries. There were children on the raft who were scared out of their minds. People rushed into the water and attempted to manually flip the raft back over by hand. If it weren't for these brave people who answered the call, the people on the raft probably would have drowned. Well, <laughs> Number seven, what? Black Hole. Well, One of the most black infamous hole. water slides in the world is the Black Hole slide at the Wet n Wild Water Park in Orlando. Don't know why I went southern there, oh, but hey, what is. Yeah. It has been the target of several lawsuits, all filed by people who have been seriously injured while riding this death trap. In 2000, a man was awarded $1.73 million after filing a lawsuit pertaining to severe injuries he suffered in the black hole. He was struck by an unknown object while traveling down the slide. When he was ejected out from the bottom of the slide, he couldn't move his legs. He later needed metal plates implanted into his neck. There have been countless other lawsuits against wet and wild after injuries sustained in the black hole. One girl suffered injuries after falling off her tube, hitting the bottom. Another person came to a complete stop and was hit hard by the next person coming down the slide. Another girl's tube flipped, injuring her. Kind of seeing a recurring pattern here. The main problem is that the ride takes 23 seconds for a person to complete, but the staff send a tube down every 20 seconds, meaning they don't wait until the first person has left the slide before pushing another person So they can do math! Number 6. <laughs> insane no water slide. That is bad. For our next water slide, we go to Brazil's beach park. Oh. It's home to one of the tallest water slides in the world. Oh my we are, of God. course, talking about the insane no water slide. Oh, that this thing so is far. a whopping 41 meters in height. That's the same as a 14-story building, so it was bound to have terrible injuries associated with it. Riders experienced speeds of over 65 miles per hour on the riveting way down to the bottom. 
They say it is so steep that your body barely touches the actual slide. You're in midair for most of the ride. Oh. Because of this, it's incredibly important oh, to cross no. your ankles and cross your arms around your chest if you want to ride this thing. For all the hype, the slide is over in about four or five seconds. Staff often laugh at people who come out of the bottom of this ride. These tourists are often reduced to tears by the time they get spat out of the bottom of this behemoth. I mean, can you blame them? That's a 14-story building truck. It's terrifying. I mean, what if there's an alligator down there you didn't know about it, hmm? 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 Actually, it'd be a caiman considering it's result, but still, it's terrifying. Mm, mm, mm. Number five, 14 stories, Sahara huh? Sidewinder. The poor people can stand injuries. Excuse me while I go take a money bath. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's about how I imagine it goes over there in that kind of business. Number four, Cannonball Falls. What are you talking about? For the next of our dangerous water slides, we return once again to the infamous Action Park. Having a water park with the most injuries in the state is one thing, but what about the single water slide that has the most injuries in the entire state? <laughs> that honor goes to Cannonball Damn, Falls, Deep. the most yeah. dangerous ride in the most dangerous park in the most dangerous state. Oh, is he gonna get up yeah, with us? Yeah. <laughs> because of the oh. sheer amount of people who were getting injured on this thing, the park had to shut down oh, in September 2015. Baby. The slide ends with a 10-foot sheer drop into a pool. Six people were severely injured in only one season. Five of these people all suffered the same injury, an injury to the shoulder. Oh, the company that man. operates the park was extremely reluctant to pay for medical treatment for any of Cannonball Falls victims. Excuse me, sir, they want compensation for their injuries. How dare they? I give them entertainment and they give me money. How dare they want it back? <laughs> money. Number yeah, three. That's crazy. Uh, one of the most recent and horrific tragedies to have occurred on a water slide involved a water slide called Verrucht. This water slide is located in the Kansas City Water Park and is the tallest, largest water slide in the world. It's 17 stories high. Oh my. Remember that gosh. argument I made about the other one that's terrifying? That's over 51 meters. Caleb Schwab, a 10 year old boy, was thrown from the rafts and decapitated in August 2016. The boy was very skinny, and many people are saying he shouldn't have been allowed on the slide, oh. which also has a height limit. Oh. Verrucht is a German word that translated roughly as crazy. Since oh, the incident, baby. the slide has been rightfully shut down. And you know yeah. what? Let's go with another German word. The German word of today oh. is Unverantwortlich, which translates to irresponsible. Number two, That's Geronimo bad. Falls. <laughs> Geronimo that Falls is... is a slide in the infamous action park, a water park in New Jersey where several people were injured, died, or sued the park because of its lack of safety precautions. Died? A common theme around these water parks. <sighs> Sounds like fun, am I right? Well, maybe not. Geronimo Falls no longer oh. exists, but when it did, it was considered one of the most extreme slides of all time. This was due to its incredibly stupid amount of steepness. The incline was insane. Today's slides don't even try to match this level of steepness. There's a few reasons for that, actually, but the most important reason they don't make slides this steep anymore is because when you build a slide like Geronimo Falls, people sliding down it actually start flying into the air instead of sticking to the slide's surface. They continued this problem by installing a metal grate over the slide's opening. That meant tons of people slammed into the metal grate and they were bounced back down into the slide, oh causing my. severe injuries. Oh my people going God. down the slide experience speeds upwards of 60 what? miles per hour. I can't. Number one, Cannonball Loop. It was rumored that this attraction was never actually open to customers, but in 1985, the Cannonball Loop was indeed open for business. During testing of the Cannonball Loop, dummies were thrown in and decapitated. The attraction was adjusted until the dummies came through with heads intact, and then park employees were offered a hundred dollars to test it out themselves. Oh boy, that's great management. Thankfully, no one died on this monstrosity, but some people did become stuck. And before it was closed for good, a trap door was installed into the loop to retrieve pinned riders. And that's oh. our video for today. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going on a water slide for quite some time now. I mean, unless they offer me good money, I'll maybe try the trap doors first. <laughs> oh down it actually start. This dude, shout out to the dude who narrated it, because he was just a clown the whole <laughs> way through. Yo, them water slides, man. This one right here, I'd walk up and then walk back down. Man, you know? like, like legit off those... the steepness. Yeah. Look. I'm, Yo. Uh, excuse me, no. Like, what? Nah. No way. Uh -huh. Ain't no way, man. That... That had me gone, man. Yeah. No cap. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all let us know how y'all feel, yeah. man. Top 10 most insane water slides. That was why for, like, those water slides to really have deaths mm -hmm. next to them. 
That's really crazy. I'm not going to lie, man. So sad. It is. It is. It is. Y'all let us know how y'all feel, man. We're going to sign out on that. No, yeah. you already know. It's your boy, KT Uno. It's I, Safira. And we gone. <laughs> yeah, dude. So much hate. So much pain. It all feels the same.